What's up YouTube? Brody here. I'm gonna have a little more fun with this Wubin C3 and I've got the Wildtac A1. The 550 lumen Wildtac A1 and the 1200 lumen Wubin C3 which I still say is a joke and way overrated lumen. I am uh, 25 feet from that wall there where you see the flag at. I'm going to turn both these lights on and I'm going to show you that this Wubin is nowhere near 1200 lumens again. Let me uh, cycle through this and show you that it's on the highest setting. There you go. And let me show you this is the Wubin. Look. Wubin. Look. Okay, we're on the wall. Let me show you this. Wildtac A1. Look at this. This is 550 lumens on my left hand. Look at this. And this is what? It's supposed to be 1200 lumens? Are you kidding me? And I'm going to tell you, I'd be outside right now showing you a light test outside. The problem with that right now is it's uh, minus 10 degrees. I'm not going out there in the snow everywhere. And the snow lightens everything up and brightens everything up. It makes all the lights, no matter what lumens they are, look like they're like coming from the sun. So it gives you a false sense of brightness. But there it is again. The A1, not the A1S, just the old 551 lumen A1. And the so-called 1200 lumen Wubin. Give me a break. Alright, just for the heck of it. Let's do the Wubin. Let me turn this on so you can see it's the Wubin again. I don't want to think I'm playing games. There's the Wubin. C3. I've got the A1S right here. This is supposed to be 1150 lumens. This is supposed to be 1200. So look, we'll shine the Wubin over there. Then we turn on the 1150A1S. Okay, same thing. Look at this. What a joke. 1200 lumens my ass. You got people, like I said, I got Charles Bridgetech's cult following me around mad because I called him out on this light. He's mad about it. His uh, elite cult followers are mad about it. You know what, and saying I'm biased towards him and everything. I bought the Wubin C3 because I watched his video and believed his nonsense. Then I got it home and I'm totally disappointed. This is supposed to be a pro flashlight reviewer. Give me a break again, man. This guy is just, anything that somebody sends him, he's going to give it a, a probably a pretty good review. Because he's getting free stuff. Has nothing to do with being a real review with facts. I mean, you're getting a lot of this stuff on YouTube for people. It ain't just with flashlights. It's with knives, guns, uh, cars, name something, chainsaws, anything. These people are all doing this stuff. They're all biased. They're all playing games. It's hard to get a real, real review. If you go on Amazon, you'll see a lot of people complaining about the C3, that it doesn't put out the brightness, but Charles Bridgetech wants to claim that I'm just Claiming it's a good, you know, a bad light and, and trolling him and whatever. But, man, all the reviews on Amazon don't lie. So you tell me. Who's really lying? Like I said, I bought the light because he recommended it. And, of course, now I'm disappointed and stuck with this piece of crap. I'll keep it. I mean, it's worth it for keeping it just for the battery. The batteries almost cost that much. It did come with a good battery. But the light, you know... Ain't, ain't what it's claimed to be. I wanted the light because of its size. It's small. You know, I can carry it in my pocket without it bothering me much. I wanted it for a replacement. Well, this one's a little bigger, the A1S. What I really wanted was another A7, which is small. You barely notice this in your pocket. This is an A7 Wildtac. You know, that's why I bought the Wubin C3 over his recommendation. This is the same guy that's mad because I believe his recommendation now he's been out of shape because I'm calling him out on it. 
Hey, you're an idiot, man. You're just a clown. That's what I think of you and your followers. Good night, Brody out.